Well, good afternoon, and hopefully everybody had a happy Monday. Not sure if everybody knows, but today is Dr. Seuss Day, which is also Read Across America Day. So as a little challenge, I put together a nine green egg challenge. Of course, green eggs and ham, Dr. Seuss. The kids have to pick a number, one through nine. They only have one chance to change it. If they don't want that number, they have to put it down, but they only get one chance. Now, there are four things they have to eat that I don't think they're going to like, but the other five, I was nice, mom was nice this time, and gave them five treats in the other. So, it's all up to you guys. Izzy, since you're the youngest, I'm going to let you go first. Right now? Yep, so pick a number, one through nine. Six, because I'm six years old. All right, take six. I think... That one's six. Yep. Okay. I, I, I don't tip them. Stand it up. Stand, Stand it up. up. Open it up. What'd you get? It's weird. Let me see. Show it towards me, but don't. All right. Try it. Do you want me to tell you first or just try it? Chew it and try it. Try a little bit more. I didn't think she might like this. Try it, because I'm really is. impressed with you, Isabella. I think I know what it is. Here, show me your egg. Try a little bit more. I don't know. I think she likes this, babe. I might give her the rest of this. She doesn't know what it is yet. I think I do you like it, Isabella? You really do? All right. We'll tell you what it is once you finish it. Finish that up, and I'll tell you what it is. I think I It's know. only a little bit. It's not even a full spoonful. Oh, is it getting to you now? I am super proud of you because you know what you just ate? Mm. You ate caviar, which you is know. fish eggs. Yeah. I saw a video about that. <laughs> I am super proud of you, girl. Izzy did it and didn't even change. All right, Nate, on to you. I'm going to pick four. I am very proud of you, Isabella. Now open up and let me see before you try to eat it. Oh. Open it. I think that's cool. <laughs> that, or Nathan. Well, no, eat it first and then I'll tell you. Or do you want to switch? Oh, I think, I think that's... Well, that technically, like just eat it. It's that not a like snail. A I could not get escargot, guys. Sorry. Let me see. I want to switch, but I don't. Let me see. Just try it. I think that's an octopus. That it's not an octopus. Clown. It's probably a clam. Eat or switch? No, he's already touching it. He's got to eat it. Just chew it. I've had this. Eat it. I told you two of you that might have like them. What did you say, Ian? Tuna. Not a clam, not tuna. It's an oyster. I've had an oyster before. That's an oyster. All right, go, Ian. Two of the bad ones are out, so I'm actually impressed with three. these guys. All right, lucky number three. Yeah. Oh, what do you get? <laughs> he got gummy worms. Back do to you, you Izzy. Do you want to do you want to switch? Well, technically, they're supposed to shake it up and not open it before they figure it out. Lucky but number. so far, we've got two of them eating them. So go ahead, Izzy. Two. Be careful. You're gonna switch? Is she? I don't know. Let her. Seven. What'd you get? Fishies. Oh, you got fishies. That works. All right, mm -hmm. Nate, come on. Hey, green and red means Christmas. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Gotta love Dr. Seuss. Don't go for number one. Come oh, on. It's heavy. Snake Skittles. Oh, everybody got a good one. All right, Ian. What number? What number is that? Five. All right. Open it up. Oh, he got an airhead. Got All right, Izzy. You have two, eight, and nine, Izzy. What are you picking? I got luck. Number nine. What do you got? I'm an Oh, all right. Come on, Nate. I'm left with the bad stuff. I'm just going to go with eight. No, because two of them are already eaten. Let me see. It looks like chicken. Um, oh, I know what that is. All right, eat it. I'm going to eat this whole thing. That looks like dog food. <laughs> nope, that's tuna. Let me see. That's oh, you ate it. I couldn't see real quick. There's tuna. Does it taste like there was olive oil on it? Yeah. Then you just ate an anchovy. Oh. 
Please don't it was me. skinless and it was boneless, so you didn't get none of the nasty stuff. Believe me, mom was paying attention to what she got. All right, Ian's got the last one. What do you get? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right, that's the last one. Eat it, and then I'll tell you what it is. I'm really impressed with you guys today. I really am. None of them switched. No, they all just, I mean, no. Izzy kind of picked up and put down, but it wasn't like she. Just like chicken. Not a chicken. It's something you like to eat. Yeah, it's clam. It's a clam. You know, I'm really impressed with you guys on this. Hey, I hey, mom, I think next time, less goodies, more more surprises. Well, yeah, but I wanted to see how they do, and I'm really surprised with Izzy because she ate that caviar like it was nothing. She ate fish eggs, so I'm super, super excited and super impressed with that. All right, guys, this is only the first part of our Dr. Seuss day. We're going to make oobleck in a minute, so we'll be right back. Bye. Guys, they're back. They're about to make their oobleck. Like I said, today's Monday. It's National Read Across America Day. It's Dr. Seuss Day. So they just did the nine green egg challenge, and I'm super proud of these guys. So now they're going to do oobleck. Nate's going to do his with one drop of food coloring. Ian's going to do his with two, and Izzy's going to do hers with three. So then once they get this going, they can. Izzy just has to go a little bit more. Izzy, go. It's fine. All right, done. So now put your, or cap that up, Nate. Put your water inside and start mixing your oobleck together, and we'll see how this turns out. Izzy's got a nice dark green there. Ian's was almost the same one. I don't know about, oh, no, Izzy's is a little bit darker. And we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to let them mix these up and we'll come back and see how it turns out. All right, they got this going. Izzy's got hers already up and going. Look at that. Oobleck. Mine's getting so sticky. Yeah, let's see how Ian's is. Did you get yours up yet? They're sticking to the bottom of the bowl. Get it going. There it is. It's so funny because one at one moment it can be a liquid. At the next moment it can be a solid, which is like the oobleck from the... Dr. Seuss book. Keep mixing it. This is like the... Let me see his. I think I need... So Izzy did get a darker one. I think I need more Ian's is starch. a little bit lighter, and Nathan definitely got the lightest one in that one, so that's really cool. I need more starch. Um, We'll check it out in a minute. All right, guys, give us one more second. We're going to see what's going on with these. All right, I think they're having a lot of fun with this Ooblick stuff, so... I think they're amazed that one time it's a liquid, the next time it gets all stiff and hard... And guys, if you try this at home, make sure you like, give it a like, because it's fun. If you're watching from home? Yeah. All right, guys, until our next video. So get ready, because I'm pretty sure our next video is National Cheese Doodle Day. So wait till you see what these guys have in store for you on that one. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give us a huge thumbs up. Which you guys can't really do right now. But all right, guys, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.